many installations don't have flexible pipes under the countertop and they just have the copper pipe. So in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with the situation of converting copper to flexible. Right, now on this side you can see that the copper is uh, fixed to the tap itself, right, at the, right to the tap. So now you'll have to make a decision. Either you're going to carry on with the copper and you're going to loosen the tap. There's the tap, so there's no flexible pipe. So we don't have a flexible pipe. Or you can make do what I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to install the stop valve. I, want, I like the stop valves, but then it means you're going to have to cut this copper. And that means you're going to have to join it or use this connex connector so that I can then use the stop valve. I'll just build it for you quickly. So it'll be like, like this. And like that. So that's what it's going to be. I'm going to cut that copper and then I'm going to put the stop valve and then I'm going to use the flexible pipe. It's, a, it's good practice to rather use the stop valves because now um, if, I want, if I want to work on this tap I have to go and switch off the water at the street and that's not suitable. So now I'll, once I fix this I'll just be able to use the stop valve here and see you can turn this knob. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to open it here at the tap itself. Okay, so we're going to prepare this. We're going to put the hemp on it now while we've still got it in hand. There we go. And there we're going to put the stop valve on there. Right, so that uh, piece of copper now is quite loose because remember, I just previously I showed you that I, I had already pre-loosened the nut that was holding the copper onto the tap. The so now the I'm tap, just manually loosening what's remaining of it. The, the tap. Right, now put that there. Okay. Now I put the, that there, and now we can. Wait, is is moving? I don't think so. There you go. Right, so this is coming to the end of the video and just showing you that uh, we did the exact same thing on the pipe behind. Often pipes run in tandem because of the hot and cold. So to do the other one, you follow the exact same uh, uh, steps as I've already shown. And just remember that the flexible pipe does not need to be tightened very tight because it has a rubber washer and therefore you don't have to make it very tight. And when you're using hemp also, you don't have to make it very tight for the reason that the hemp expands um, and it, it, it forms a, a water block. The water cannot come through. The one where you do make quite tight is the connex. That is the one where we connect to the copper pipe itself which we already showed you in the video so to close up here all you need to do is make sure all the flexible joints are now connected and tight and obviously it's probably going to your tap and whatnot and that's it that brings us to the end of the video thanks for watching cheers